So here we are at your town prize home draw 518 at beautiful Umundi. Come on and check it out. So this is your front gate here, it's an electric gate operated by remote control. And then we just wanted to show you before we head up to the house, this terrace grass area up here. So lots of great mature gardens here. As you look down the drive, you'll see this um, pebble driveway comes around here to the front of the house. So if you want to park there and just go straight into your kitchen and your front entry, you can, um, as well as if it's raining and guests come to visit. And then you've also got the driveway down here, which goes around the back to the property. The driveway goes all around to the other side, but not the full loop. And it does go down to your under uh, house garages. So come and check out this beautiful home. So we've got Bree with us today as well on the other side of the camera. Hi so guys. So she'll help me in pointing out anything that I forget along the way. So this is the perfect entrance to the house, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a beautiful grand entrance. I just love the maturity of the garden. It's so lovely. So come on in and I reckon let's go straight out to that gorgeous veranda and have a look at that. So the boundary of the property is pretty much down to the where you see the water there. So you can see this great little seating area here behind Bree there. Perfect for having a coffee or a tea or an afternoon drink and watching the sunset. Perfect view from all angles. And then let's check out this main living dining space. So gorgeous, big long dining table. Um, it's an extendable table, so at the moment it's extended out for eight, but you can bring that in if you want to create a little bit more space around the table. Beautifully uh, warm and cosy lounge area that we have the fireplace stoked all day so it is beautiful and warm i can assure you of that and then this hero kitchen this big barn door conceals some appliances and extra plates and um, mixing bowls So lots and lots of bench space and storage space, which is great. There is, these are cupboards all along here. So all pop out cupboards that you can have storage in. Of course, fresh veggies from your very own veggie garden, which we're gonna put a little video of underneath this one in the comments. And on each side of the bench here, you've got a power. So what you do is you press this little button here and your power points expose themselves. So if you're using Mix Masters or other appliances on the bench, it's a lot easier than having power cords go over the side of the bench. Um, fully um, integrated sink over here, one large porcelain sink. Got all your drain holes built into the stone. Uh, loads of storage. Glassware plates. Nice big deep doors. That's all your covers for your outdoor entertaining space. Good spot for them. And as usual, all of your other bits and bobs that you need. Nice big deep drawers. Gaganau oven. So actually this tricked me out earlier today. It actually opens from the side. So easier to get larger roasts and trays inside the oven. Here is your rubbish bin. You can do all sorts of composting and recycling at three different compartments there in the bin, which is great. Your reporter integrated dishwasher, the Gaganau dishwasher as well. More storage cupboards above here, and then here is your integrated fridge.
Ice maker is already set up and ready to go. So you've got two nice big freezer drawers there. So that is the kitchen. Let's go and check out the master bedroom. So lots of light and again, um, all of the bedrooms open out onto this beautiful sort of 180 degree balcony, veranda. How perfect is that walk-in? Such a great right walk-in room. And then of course the ensuite right next to it there. So you pop the light on. A nice, really decent sized shower. Nice high ceilings as well in the ensuite. In the bedroom, we've got block out blinds as well as the shears. So you can work out what kind of light control you want to have. And then the door that opens out onto that 180 degree veranda that I was talking about before. Imagine waking up to that view. I know, waking up to it, going to bed to it, it'll be absolutely stunning. So I'll take you through the guest um, side of the property. So down this end of the house, we have three bedrooms and uh, re a really great big main bathroom as well. These are the stairs to the downstairs robbers room. We'll take you down there in a second. Here is your study on this side, just next to the front door there. And it comes with your very own Mac laptop as well. So storage here in the hall. And as um, you know, we always keep the boxes from your appliances. If you decide to sell up and move out, you can take everything with you. So bedroom two. And all of them have little kind of walk-in rope. Perfect. Plenty of storage. Yeah, which is excellent. Another bedroom here. Nice high ceilings. All have ceiling fans and again, you rove around the corner. So it's identical to the one that we just showed you in the bedroom before. There's screens on the windows. And I know quite often you guys ask about the screen. So these are actually um, security screens. So. I'll keep the bugs out, but also you've got that extra layer of security that people can't just cut the netting and get into the house. Um, here, let's do this on spot the bathroom first. A huge main bathroom. Double basin. It's storage underneath and then a beautiful large core bath. The other thing I love about this bathroom is it's got the exhaust fan, the ceilings are really high, but you've also got the window so you can get that natural, natural air and light in here as well, which is excellent. Okay, here is bedroom three, and then we're going to take you back around the veranda. So again, similar concept with the walk-in road, but you do have that little bit of ventilation through that window at the end. Kind of maintains the space in the bedroom for the bedroom and the room is tucked away like that. And then come back out. This is the very, very end of the veranda. So your garage is directly under here. So if you just want to show under here, Brie, that's your garage there. And then you can see the path going up the side of the house there. So around here, I love this. I I don't know, it feels like a very first world problem, but kind of bending down to the esky. It's nice to have the esky here and got a little bottle opener on the side and collects the bottle caps there, which is also very handy. You've got your barbecue as well. And then this is the end that your dining is set up on. It's a perfect area to entertain, that's for sure. It is awesome. And then the screens are also on the French doors as well as the glass French doors. Again, so you've got that extra protection 
a bit more security with the screens and then also any mozzies that might come in, um, in the spring. So we'll take you downstairs now. So your internal stairs are just here. I'll show you as we're walking past to the guest wing. I love that greenery that you can see right outside the front door there. Okay, now check out the wellness room. So before we go to there, we'll show you the garage. So double lock up garage. And here you can see you've got your solar here, your main switches here, and your vacuum cleaner charging. So we'll go back in two, through to the office room. Nice big TV. There, in the corner over here, you have a study nook as well. And um, again, a Mac, it's not a prop, that is a Mac, and that will be your prize, your first prize. Um, nice big TV and great large open run space. And you can walk outside in, which we'll show you in just a sec. This is your laundry. And you'll need to put a nice big laundry basket because that is your laundry shed from upstairs. So side by side, AUG washer and dryer. And then this is the downstairs guest room. So this is bedroom number five. So again to the outside, and then there's the ensuite here. Nice barn door there. Quite a large shower too. And then you've got your robes in this one just here. Ironing in there because your other stuff's in the laundry. So we might go out here, Bray. So this outside space is directly below your uh, veranda upstairs. A couple of nice spots for sitting if you want to sit outside. And then you've got this beautiful grand staircase that goes back up to that veranda. Yes, it's just gorgeous. I love that advantage of the house. Now let's see if we can convince Bree to walk down the stairs to the pool. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So there's an outdoor shower here. You can have a little uh, rinse off if you want to when you first get out of the pool. And then these stairs down to the pool area here. <laughs> Feels like you're in another destination. It feels really tropical. I it, love it does. One of the one of my favourite things about this house, it's it, you get that advantage of the tree change, but you're so close to everything. So your mummy is literally two or three minutes away. Um, great restaurants. You've got the mummy markets, and then if you want something that's a little bit more beachside glam, then you've got uh, beachfront Noosa and Hastings Street. This is that uh, pool I wanted to show you. It just you can't really see it when you're looking at it from a different angle, but it's 25 metres and it's just got sort of bows out slightly at the side. And you can see that there's seating where it's coming out the side there. Look at that view from the pool. So nice. And then you've got your pool pump and everything is just concealed there behind that little pool house. So I hope you enjoyed our little walkthrough of your town prize home door 518. There's only 550,000 tickets, so hurry, get in quick and get your tickets. I hope I'm calling you.